Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you everything that I wish I could tell my 19 year old self when I first started uni three years ago. Those first few days, weeks or even months of university can simultaneously feel like your best but also the worst time of your life. If you're currently a fresher who's just started university and you're feeling overwhelmed, stressed or anxious, then can I firstly say that your feelings are valid and I hope that throughout this video you'll realise that you are not alone. Of course, the only way that you will truly allow yourself to settle in is by giving yourself time. But at the end, I am going to suggest a few things that can help you through those first days, weeks or even months of university when things just aren't feeling quite right. The very first point that I want to make in this video is that only the highlights of university are shown on social media. I think people often choose to go to university not because of the idea of studying, but because of what they see on social media. There's this narrative that university will be the best time of your life. So I think in the first few weeks when this doesn't happen for a lot of people they feel a bit misled. I felt completely the same but now sitting here as a graduate I realise actually things do get better but here are all the things I wish I could have told my 19 year old self back at the start of university when I felt overwhelmed, stressed and anxious. Because university is very independent, you're probably going to find that you have a lot more free time than what you did when you were doing A-levels or BTECs, especially in those first few weeks when you have no assessments to be studying for. And I think this independence for a lot of people can bring about loneliness. So if you're currently in your first week or two of university, then please let me tell you it's completely normal to feel this way. Like me, you may be feeling really stressed in those first few weeks because you keep seeing big groups of people around campus and you think that they've made really good friends or that they feel generally more comfortable in their new environment. But I can almost assure you that at least most of these people, despite how confident they look, will be feeling exactly the same as you. Having lots of people around you doesn't automatically make you not feel lonely because, especially in the first few weeks, you may not know those people so well, so you may not feel quite as connected to them as your friends at home. Please do not beat yourself up if you haven't found your people within the first few weeks or even months of university. Personally, I cried multiple times and had multiple panic attacks in that first time of university because every time I looked around me, it felt as though people were in large groups and that they'd make really good friends already. By this point, I had made some friends, people that I would go for a coffee with or study with, for example, but I just didn't still feel completely comfortable and I didn't feel that I was as close to them as what other people were with their big friendship groups. This really stressed me out when it came to looking for housing for second year, and this brings me on to my second point. By Christmas, I felt as though everybody had already formed these groups of people they wanted to live with in second year, and there's also always a rumour going around campus that if you don't have housing sorted before Christmas, then you won't end up getting a room. Firstly, I want to stress that at UEA at least, housing does not need to be sorted before Christmas. Of course, it's nice if you could source it out and get it out of the way, but it doesn't need to be. Even during the summer, right before uni starts back, there are always rooms being advertised on Facebook and on places like uni homes that are available in Norwich. But anyway, going back to my point, in second year, my boyfriend and I lived together and with two other housemates, but they weren't existing friends. And I felt as though I was kind of the odd one out. But now since graduating, I actually know of lots of people who didn't end up living with an existing friendship group in second year. So actually, I wish I hadn't have let that stress me out so much in my first term of my first year when I had so many other things going on. In terms of academia, there was definitely a lot less to do in my first year of university than what there was during A-levels which is really nice because it gives you a bit of breathing space. But because uni is so independent, there's probably going to be a lot more reading than what you are used to, especially if you do a humanities-based degree. And this reading is going to be hard to begin with. The terminology in academic literature is going to be very different from that used in an A-level textbook. And especially if you do a course like history, it can often be really difficult to work out what historian is actually trying to argue. Similarly, lecturers can use really big words sometimes, which can feel a bit daunting when you first start uni. And if you're sitting there over the next few weeks thinking, I do not know what that word means, then don't feel as though you're stupid or don't belong at university. As I began to make friends on my course, I realised that other people were in the same boat, they didn't know what some of these long words meant, and they struggled to understand some of the readings. In my first year, I wish I'd have realised that university is about so much more than academics. It's obviously really good to be really motivated right at the start of your degree, but do give yourself time to do other things as well. Personally, I chose to join dance clubs when I came to university and that's been such a big part of my university experience. But a small part of me does kind of wish I'd have tried different things in first year as well, just because it's so much cheaper to try new things at university as opposed to trying them in the real world. One of my biggest regrets for first year was also not giving myself enough time to socialise more. So if I was talking to my 19 year old self now, I would say take just two hours a week off of work to go and socialise because actually that's not going to have a really significant impact on your overall degree grade. 
I think working a little bit too much right at the start of uni and not socialising more hampered my ability to make friends earlier on. And now sitting here as a graduate, I wish I could tell my 19 year old self that my overall degree grade will not define you. I'm extremely proud of myself for getting a first overall, but achieving a first at university at absolutely any cost was my one sole goal. And actually, now that I'm sitting here as a graduate, do I feel any different? No, not really. I don't think I'd have felt any different getting a 2-1 as opposed to getting the first. I wish that especially towards the end of my degree, I would have prioritised my mental health and not let myself burn out. So now, moving on to some advice I would give my 19 year old self. Try to get into a routine as early as you possibly can to help you feel settled. Secondly, I cannot stress enough how important it is to join clubs and societies at university. Like I've said, you'll probably have a lot more free time at university, so joining a club or society will give you something to do in that free time, whilst also giving you the chance to make friends and giving you some sense of belonging. But if you can do, then use university as an opportunity to try new things. Leading on from this, you're obviously not going to make friends just by sitting in your room all day. So as difficult as it may be in those first few weeks, try to be confident and ask your flatmates, your course mates or people from those clubs and societies to go out and do something such as have a coffee or go to the pub for example. Chances are that people are feeling exactly the same as you and want to meet up and do something but just don't have the confidence to ask. Hopefully over time these things will help you to settle in and make friends and therefore stop feeling so overwhelmed, stressed and anxious. But of course this isn't going to happen overnight. One of the things I wish I would have done in my first time of uni to help with this is meditation. I recently found a free body scan meditation online that I'll link in the description. This has been really fantastic at helping to calm my anxiety. If there are two things you can take away from this video, please know that your feelings are completely normal and that over time things will get better. Uni will be over in a flash and by the end you'll probably wish that you could go and do it all again. Please let me know whether or not this video has helped you and if there's any other advice you would like as a fresher. If it has helped you then don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.